Well, tonight, President Trump's newly released budget already appears to be dead on arrival on Capitol Hill. The White House is asking for $8 billion to build a border wall. Democrats are promising to block the effort. 2 News Washington correspondent Mark Meredith has more. President Trump's $4.7 trillion budget calls for cuts to domestic programs like Medicare and Medicaid and sharp increases in defense spending. It starts a conversation with Congress. Russ Vaught is the White House's acting budget director. He says the proposal also includes an extra $8 billion for a border wall and nearly $4 billion to pay back money snatched from military construction projects as part of the president's national emergency. Uh, we're taking steps with the national emergency to find pots of money that can be used to go towards the wall. We also think it's necessary to uh, backfill some of those accounts. Congressional Democrats say much of the budget, including the wall request, will simply fail in Congress. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is urging the president to revisit recent history. Pelosi wrote, quote, Congress refused to fund his wall and he was forced to admit defeat and reopen the government. The same thing will repeat itself if he tries this again. But the White House says border security is just a small fraction of the budget, which aims to cut $1 trillion from domestic programs over the next 10 years, including welfare. This budget expands on the concept of work requirements, applies them to food stamps, applies them to housing, applies them to Medicaid. Congress will begin hearings on the president's budget requests this week. In Washington, I'm Mark Baerdeth. Ohio Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown blasted the president's budget plan. In a statement, he says, quote, instead of investing in Ohio communities so they can grow and create jobs, President Trump is asking Ohioans to pay for permanent tax cuts for millionaires by slashing the programs that hardworking families rely on. I have always fought to ensure we're making critical investments in our communities, and I will continue fighting for Ohio priorities throughout this budget process.